Hey everyone, welcome to our second resource, which is energy. And um, yeah, it's huge energy. The the and it's so. I think this is the most obvious one, honestly, um, because if we consider what our daily life is, it's a it's an unquestioned conscious mind that is totally believing totally believing it's totally believing the sort of stream the film stream that goes through it as though that's real and yet that whole film stream so all all our um experience all our interpretations all our meaning particularly really when when there's any resistance going on there's any contraction there's any suffering there's any sense of a me and a them there's separation there's feeling of victim and villain or villain and victim and um when that's going on what is happening is that the the experience of reality is actually a an experience of an identity under threat a self under threat and it's coming from subconscious conditioning embodied conditioning really this is this is the whole this is the whole body that is involved in this um of of trauma in the system wounds in the system shocks in the system that play out as 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 there are a projected reality that plays out as real and in this in this projected reality there is a me here that essentially is made of need shame insecure insecurity fear it's unstable it's 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 feeling deeply separate and it's in a reality that is looking threatening to this idea of me. And it doesn't matter whether that's a, you know, a Christmas lunch with our family or a, a meeting with our boss or our colleague or, or the school run or um, paying for something in a shop. It, it, it's irrelevant. What, what's, what's relevant is that these moments of tension are revealing that there is something going on within us there are wounds that are being um triggered isn't even the right word because there's nothing externally that is triggering really it, it's all coming from within that the, in a way i think they're, they're coming to the surface they're ready really to be to be seen and healed understood so they're coming to the surface and they're creating this apparent reality and when the mind isn't understood when there's no questioning of that experience we're in a fight for our lives it's survival moment and we we feel it we really feel it i you know i wrote in in my book um it's not you and it's not me about that that moment of rejection that that feels like death and all it is is you know someone saying <laughs> you know like these, these things on the surface are so innocuous but the the reaction within us because it, it because it goes right to the heart of what we think we are what we think we need to survive or, or even that you know it's not even thought really it's deeply subconscious so that's what's going on that's that's our unquestioned reality and if we consider if we consider what what resources a war uses up the 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 energetic expense of a war that's what's going on in our daily life and what's what's worse about it is that the energy like that's being sucked out of our body sucked out of our cells you know no wonder no wonder we're trying to get this energy from from any place we can really because it's all being sucked out of the body and it's 
being used to fuel both sides of the war because both sides of the war, the me and the them, are made of the same conditions, subconscious wound tower, la layers and layers of wounds. And, um, and so all our energy is being used to fuel both sides of an unwinnable battle. And we don't know, we don't know until, until we somehow stumble across a conversation about what we are, what's true, what's real. We don't know it. I, I didn't know it for decades. And, um, and there's still loads of places where I don't know it. You know, there's still loads of places where, where that, that survival looks necessary, where, where we look to be under threat. And, it, and it's only through an ongoing, I think ongoing reminders really that that those moments of suffering are saying, don't, don't energize both sides of the war of an unwin unwinnable battle. And, um, and so energy, it's all going into that. And so as, as things start to become more clear, as that war ends, get start, start to be seen for what it really is, there's all the energy available that we could ever want. There's just, there's no limit on energy. And, and, the, and, and, and the body, because it's now, now it's sane, the whole body is sane. And it's, even if there's, even if there's still a lot, you know, like me, like other people, there's still a lot of things being worked through um the orientation is sane now you know there's there's enough knowing that suffering is saying there's something amiss here there's something interesting here there's something rich here and so and so energy is used for the exploration of what's true and that exploration itself releases energy it's completely rejuvenating exploration because it's bringing the whole system into reality where it does miraculously well, where it's what it's designed for. And so, and so it's an energizing exploration, whereas our confusion, our, our inner battle, our projection from the past and then fighting that projection it's absolutely depleting um, at every level, every level, emotionally, psychologically, physically, every level it's depleting. And so it seems to me that energy is the, is the most obvious, most easy to grasp, um, most, maybe the most dramatic um, change through, through a, a system becoming sane. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. Lots of love. Bye.